GPA had proposed a three-phase increase in the Lee Act. The PUC approved the first two increments in July and September, but deferred a decision on the November increase until their October 27 meeting. During the CCU meeting Tuesday, GPA General Manager John Benaventi explained that they've been doing as much as they could to hold down rates in the face of soaring global fuel costs, but their under-recovery of those expenses was no longer tenable. Let's not forget that uh, GPA has already advanced as much as $47 million in cash. And where did that cash come from? That cash came from the base rate savings that occur, which would have been going to CIP. In addition to pushing back planned capital improvements, he said the governor and senators also stepped in to hold down the rates. The second part of that is there has also been an additional $25 million, which is recently the $100 a month, and $15 million from the previous Lee Act that the administration and the, and the legislature through Senator St. Augustine have put in. No? Mm -hmm. So that's $40 million plus the $47, that's $87 million. GPA is seeking to bring its now $37 million fuel cost under recovery under control. But for consumers, there's already been two Lee Act adjustments of 13.7% and 12.7%. If the third increment is approved, it would mean another 11.7% increase, effective November 1st, for a total increase in the average power bill of 38% since July. For KUAM News, I'm Nestor Lacanto.